Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to assemble this image um, as a made painting inside the Photoshop and we will going to use the uh, VU as the render element so we can create all these mountains, render and clouds and atmospheres include the figures. We go to render everything in a VU as a separate components and after we'll look on some techniques how to bring them together inside the Photoshop to create a made painting. So let's go ahead and start work on this. To create um, or assemble for the made painting components you don't need any a top of line applications, I mean latest and greatest versions. So for this example we're going to use right now a VU10 and I'm using just complete version and the reason because it's installed in many cases you don't need even use the complete version you just can use it VU10 or VU Pioneer and just add modules that um, you can use it. Some modules I do recommend for you to have and uh, some of them like ecosystem will help you and render module and probably just import module will help as well. So you have a few modules that are kind of important but again they're not necessary. So right here we have it um, VU10 complete I'm going to use it for this and you notice we have it the camera setup so just preset as usual. Um, few components I want to render separately and the one what I notice it's one of the hardest things to work. It's work combination lighting, sun position, shadows and how the mountains will look. So right now first what I'm going to do it's work just on atmosphere and I will take this atmosphere I created, render and import it separately and we'll separately we'll take a mountain, valley and some other components and putting them together. So example right here we have a camera and I'm just positioning a bit up you see where's the horizon going? So I'll take a most from the creating sky. Um, when you're creating atmosphere settings, in many cases, when sun going up front of the camera, this is will create a very dramatic, very powerful kind of atmosphere. Or you can put it slightly on the side if you think the glowing a little bit too much. So. Uh, probably it's what I'm going to do to take my sun just right around here maybe bring slightly down to create it sunset is kind of like golden hour and this is will be our basic beginning for the creating atmosphere the notice is different my normal workflow if I do everything inside the view atmosphere probably will be the last part I'm doing but when I do with a made painting and components digital made painting Actually, atmosphere, it's what will dictate for me um, lighting, shadows, and everything. So I'm trying to put it just on a back. As well, if I put a person, um, probably I put some humans around. So kind of just to keep it um, intact scenery. The position of the sun will also help me to kind of blend in that person. Okay, let's go to atmosphere editor. Okay, we have our sun position. I'm going to switch light to the global rarest for this. Also, I want to bring a little bit more saturations. So we'll take ambient light. I'll bring saturations a little bit down. And it's kind of interesting because you bring saturations a little bit down. But by darkening, we'll actually, you can see we brought those saturations colors a little bit more out. Okay, as well, we can bring a little bit more to the sunlight because I won't render any um, elements on the ground. I will actually ignore them afterwards. We'll cut off. So in this case, it won't be that important on a sunlight just to keep it for the clouds effect. I will bring sunlight a little bit closer. So keep on going. Um, next, I will add clouds. And I will add clouds before sky and fog so I can... Um, see how the distance and details on the clouds may be applied. We'll go to our cloud selection. We'll go spectral. And let's just select the dark camels. This is good basic color uh, clouds. You can see we applied. One thing, I don't want to have them heavy. 
I'll probably have three different type of clouds. The one will be dark, but will take our density maybe about 2% pop up opacity. That will create soft, very nice clouds. We'll pop up details on this because a little bit lower. And let's just take a cover down. This is our clouds will be kind of on the back, maybe out of the sun related. You'll see how our sun have it glowing this effect. We'll work on this later when we're going with the glow intensity and scattering. So we'll fix this one. Right now I'm just more interested in the clouds itself. Okay, also I'll take pop-up altitude variation. Let's take our top of the clouds and add some randomness to this. And let's just maybe add a little bit more to the ambient light. It's add this depth, but same time lightness with a density. Now let's take density maybe even to 1%. Okay, at this point, I want to just go to render preview, see what we have it so far. Okay, and tell it render, I can see I already have it. Um, maybe details just drop pinch down. So let's do this. Okay, I'll just go in details, bring it down, and let's go add another layer. So I will have the same one, except this one you notice it's a little bit higher. So I want to bring altitude a little bit down on these clouds. Okay, we'll look, let's bring a pasty just slightly down. I want to keep it them um, probably about the same size, except right here in lighting, force ambient color. I want to change, I want to bring this more sun sagish reddish just slightly. So you can see right here is bring kind of nice color on that one. Okay, let's go click OK. Now I want to decrease a little bit lighting, bring down, let's bring altitude a little bit more lower. In some case so we have an opening right there. But I don't want to touch the ground because if when we touch the ground, right now we don't have anything. But after if we touch the ground, it will take a little bit longer to render. So I don't want to do that. Okay, I maybe work a little bit more with the scale. So we can pop up scale, create overall um, coloring or actually decrease. Probably let's decrease on this one. Take our light ones and increase on that one. So we'll have it uh, our the dark clouds will have a scale smaller, so we have a little bit more details. And a light on a background, we want to increase. Okay, let's go back here. I will take altitude variation, pop up all the way to the 100. Uh, we can increase a little bit on the feathering. That will smooth a little bit edges, a bit better. And let's add one more. And for this one, actually, I'm going just to this Stratus will take turbulent, click OK, and we'll just take density and pop up down. Okay, preview. So we have quite a bit glowing going through atmosphere. At this point, we'll probably come back to the clouds, but right now I want to reduce some of the glowing so we'll get the blue color going on a sky. For this, glowing intensity is how much will produce power from the source. We can drop down and scattering it's how far away going so if I'm bringing this to about 90 you'll notice we have it more blue sky right here kind of pushing away um, next what I want to do is actually add more um, covering aerial perspective and a haze to this so I'll go bring this maybe about five maybe a little bit more it will get smaller as well when we add aerial perspective the glowing We'll compensate again, we'll have it more glowing going through. Let's bring our bottom fork a little bit up and haze. Okay, also let's do right here. We'll just take on this haze and bring just slightly down so we increase contrast. Let's go preview. Okay, so till it's rendering. Um, normally what I do, I look a few steps ahead. For example, 
right here I have it kind of almost lost details and I know I will have it, my mountains going over this area so it probably will be easy for me to integrate with this haziness milkies um, you can change as well I may add lens flora or something to make more interesting to the sun maybe even rays from the sun so I probably want to open this and clouds just look as ugly blob right now so I want to probably go back to these arrow clouds and actually pop up details on them and take cover slightly down so we're kind of adjusting okay let's go back to the you can bring all the way haze to one side another just see which one will apply a little bit better okay also bring glowing all the way up and slightly down and scattering you can see the problem is we start losing some stuff so we'll bring scattering maybe back to about 88 um, also let's take altitude mean altitude and decay a little bit down so it will give it a little bit colder light and a bring decay amount so it's concentrate more on the bottom right around this area um, another thing sometimes you want to take sky down you can see it's desaturated or if you bring up it will bring a bit more pastel kind of smooth colors we'll just set around that way okay let's bring quality at least to the zero um, normally you want a little bit more so your clouds won't have the grain the atmosphere take the longest to render so many times you can pre-render your atmosphere and save have it like almost library or even maybe do um, photography for a shot for a shoot some of the clouds and reuse them after Okay, I'm just looking on a more interesting place to place the sun as well. Nice with the VU early version, so you can actually select uh, different clouds layers and you can move them and see which one will cover a little bit better for you. So right here you can see I'm opening, it's giving me nice blue effect we also can take this cloud and just bring so it's open right on the back it's what I'm looking right here this area have it kind of nice okay let's preview okay, so it's look good um, some details need to bring in and what I'm going to do it's a render this and save as HDR format so I can go after and process and bring even more details so right now I'm um, so okay I'll go ahead and use this probably color corrected a little bit and right now going to set higher so least final you want at least the final position or higher if used for this tutorial I'm using a little bit lower resolution so we can um, kind of proceed going forward with this and just HD resolution 1920 by 1080 final always set okay one more thing so I want just to be sure verified that my quality at least set at zero okay my light I will just leave it as default and let's go ahead and render I'm going to pause this tutorial right now and I will come back when render is completed and again because it's clouds it will take probably some time to render but this is the longest part of the rendering okay so right here you can see the render is done it took almost four hours it's one thing when I say you want to render this maybe um, when you go in the background or batch or when you go to bed just to set render and come back after render is completed again with the cloud with high resolution this is about time or maybe even longer you look for that okay the nice things about pausing this tutorial so it was just a, a second for you and right here we have it our clouds that we're going to use as a backdrop and this is the longest render time so let's go ahead save this and I will save as TFF format 
and we'll continue rendering another components in this tutorial.